Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot your crank position sensor without using a scope. And by doing this, you gotta turn it on by hand. And I'm gonna use my favorite tool, the power probe, but you could use a multimeter as well. Gotta dig down here, so you see the wires right here. It's kinda hard because they're kinda buried. You got your gray wire. That's your sensor wire. You should read five volts when you crank it over by hand. The orange wire with a power on should have constant five volt power. And then the black wire is the ground. And the reason why you gotta turn it over by hand, because without a scope, it doesn't register the pulse. Zero volts, five volts, zero volts, five volts. As I'm gonna show you right here, when we cranked it over to attempt to see. Yeah, just bump it over. Just one turn kind of thing? Yeah, it's around the crank position sensor wire, the gray and black one. We're gonna bump it over and look for a five volt signal. Okay, bump it. Nothing. Again. So the other wire on the crank position sensor, we're reading 5.17. Now, we're gonna crank it over by hand and you're gonna see five volts, zero volts, five volts. And that's how you determine whether or not your crank position sensor is working as it should. If you're not seeing five volts, you're not seeing anything, you have an issue. Probably with the position crank sensor. If you don't have five volts coming in, you gotta find out what the issue is. So now we put it back on the gray. Crank the engine over by hand. It is working. It is working. Yeah. And you can even hear it switching on. Just clarifying that if you crank it over by hand, you got five volts, then you got zero volts, then you have five volts, then zero volts, and that's exactly what you need to see. If you're seeing that, your crank position sensor is good. That being said, I'm going to end the short video there. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.